Paul? First, I'd like to thank Frank Motek for doing his usual fine job of sitting in for me over the last three days and for presumably coaxing the stock market to end a five-session 72-point losing streak with yesterday's welcome closing gain of just over 47 and a quarter points on the Dow Industrial Average. Discouragingly, however, there was very little follow-through buying on the opening this morning as stocks took their cue from bonds, which quickly gave up early gains to move into the red. After moving up only a couple of points at the outset, the industrial average fell to a two and a quarter point loss by 10 a.m., while advancing issues struggled to hold on to a slim six to five lead over losers on light volume. Wall Street was also troubled by news that the purchasing manager survey, as you heard, fell a sharp one and a half points in January to 45.2 percent. That was one factor that portends a recession, according to our market monitor guest last Friday, Jim Stack of the Investec Market Letter. Nevertheless, stocks and bonds firmed up during the midday hours as buyers were inspired by President Bush's call for troop cuts in Europe and tax cuts on capital gains at home in last night's State of the Union address. At 1 p.m., the Dow was up almost four points, with seven stocks higher for every six lower. For the remainder of the session, the blue chip slowly deteriorated, while the broader market actually improved slightly. At the final bell, the Dow Jones Industrial Average posted a loss of 4.28 at 2586.26, theoretical high of the day 2611.5 and a half nearly, and the low down around 2571, about a 40-point range. Trading volume today uh, was uh, well down from yesterday's uh, active pace at 154.6 million shares and about 15 and three quarter million shares more of up volume than down volume. The Dow Transports up 14.41 thanks to a big gain in UAL, which we'll see momentarily. The utilities were down 0.37. The Dow 65 gained just over two and a half points. The closing tick uh, slightly bullish, plus 173. Standard & Poor's 500 lost a fraction, and uh, so did the 400 and 100, despite the fact that we're more advancing than declining issues. The Commodity Research Bureau March Index was down 0 0.20. The New York Stock Exchange Index, however, managed to gain 0 0.02. The value line up nearly a point, and the Wilshire 5000 up just over three points. So the broader market a bit higher on those averages. After the market closed, the Federal Reserve reported in the week ending January 22nd, the M1 money supply rose $2.9 billion. As I touched on, bond prices edged up early today in an attempt to follow through on yesterday's night's rally, but then the market faded as traders became wary ahead of tomorrow's January unemployment report. A rise in gold prices wasn't helpful either, and to top things off, there was increasing concern as to how next week's quarterly Treasury refunding auction would be received. Considering all these gathering worries, bonds did well to close higher on balance as tax freeze ended up an eighth, as did corporates, while longer-term governments posted very small fractional gains, like the 30-year Treasury's up only 230 seconds, the Shearson Lehman Long Treasury Bond Index up a little over one and a quarter points, and Fed funds closed just where they did yesterday at eight and one quarter percent. I'll be back shortly to show you where the action was on Wall Street today.